Big data is our ability to use a lot of data points and then uh, gain new insights from these data points into how the world works that we didn't have before. And in the context of retail, this is going to revolutionize how we are going to communicate with the customer and how the customer is being informed about the products out there. It's going to revolutionize the process of retailing because we don't put customers in buckets anymore, predefined categories. We treat them as human beings. Everyone is personal and individual. The past 200 years have been defined by mass production and mass retailing. You got the same product like your neighbor, but your preferences were different. In the future, we will be able to not only produce the products based on individual preferences, but also bring them to the people that need them. So we are individualizing everything from production to retailing to dissemination of the products. And that means it's not just more efficient, it also makes people happier. There are a lot of consultants out there that tell retailers to, to buy expensive tools. But what retailers could do is just pragmatically start with the low-hanging fruit. What data they already have available. How they can combine these data sets in order to then tweak the existing shopping experience that they have and then improve the revenue and improve the bottom line of that. It might not cost millions, it might cost a couple of hundred thousand, but the bottom line will see dramatic improvements. A lot of times now we hear about success stories of certain retailers. And clearly there are success stories. Amazon is hugely successful as an online retailer throughout the world. And so in China is Alibaba and others in the B2B context. But what is important is not just which company is successful, but what type of company is successful, what kind of method works, what kind of business case works and what doesn't. The, the recipe, the secret sauce here is not to choose a particular company and emulate it. The secret sauce is to understand the business model and to understand the, the, the fundamental method that works. Big data is going to increase profit. That's as simple as that. There is no question that big data is not just improving efficiencies or increasing loyalty. No, it is about the bottom line. It is about the bottom line that is selling more products at a higher profit. And that means at the end of the day that big data will pay for itself. But it requires experimentation. It requires trial and error. There is no absolute certainty that a particular big data approach will work. So what retailers have to do is to become risk-taking. See, over the last couple of decades, we have seen retail change dramatically. From the small mom and pop stores to supermarkets and department stores. That was innovation. That was innovation in how we retail. Or think about more recent innovations like pop-up shops or shop-in shops. These are true innovations that come of experimentation, that come out of risk-taking. Retail is going to change, like every other sector, thanks to data. So the one thing that retailers cannot afford is remain stagnant and continue to do what they're doing. They need to get up and they need to get going and they need to become experimenting. If the world is changing as it is, it is important to keep knowing what the latest trends are, to keep understanding what is at the core of the change. Not just the three or four sentences that you get when you watch a television show, but in-depth understanding, in-depth use cases, in-depth success stories. That's why you should come to this conference.